like to show you how to do your off art lesson three uh, off art vertical lines now with this task as always it is really important that you read the instructions so i'll go through how to do this with you and then i'll speed up and show you how i get on with the task so first of all you draw four vertical lines now I'll make this first example using my black marker, that way you can really see how the technique works. Also, I find that it is actually very effective when you use a marker. So you draw four wavy lines, and then you draw one wavy line across the middle. Now this next step is really important. You need to draw lines that are curving towards the eye line. So they're curving towards the eye line. And then repeat it underneath going in the opposite direction. So going away from the eye line here. And make sure they are quite curved. I've seen many submissions where the lines are quite straight from some students. That way you don't get very much of a optical illusion effect. So try and make sure that the lines are curved and going away from the eye lines so you get a nice arc in your work. Continue and try and match the starting point of the line with the line from the previous shape that way you'll get a very nice mirrored effect however you might make some mistakes just try your best when you're coloring in I want you to go opposite so you do black and white or if you're using two colors two complementary colors make sure you fill in opposite so that would be green, red, green, red, if you are using complementary colors. And continue over the whole thing using opposites. So try to not get those shades to match. Now to really challenge yourself, try doing this task using shading with a pencil. It will be much more challenging, but you'll get a much more effective result. So as you can see, you start the task the same way. And then when you're doing your shading on all of the sections, we have an example here. Make sure that you are going from dark to light from the edge of the page. This was really about using motor control and pressure to get that smooth gradient. You might find it similar to when we do the tonal bar. And it is the same task, except you're going from dark to light and then to light again. And then when you have the light sections, if you do a tiny bit of shading in the edges where it starts with the next pattern, you'll achieve a much more three-dimensional effect. Okay, now I will show you how to do this sped up and do let me know if you're having any issues and you could try and alternate with different materials as well but try and master either using the pen option first or the pencil before moving on to using color.